What's up, people of America? My name is Joe Durbin. I go to Discovery School at Buffalo, Minnesota. Hi, Joe. We're here today because of the National Thanksgiving Turkey. The turkey you're all going to see today is part of a family of turkeys known as the National Thanksgiving Flock. They have a very important job. Before Thanksgiving, two of them will take a big trip from Minnesota all the way to Washington, D.C., our nation's capital. That's over 1,200 miles. That's a pretty long ways for turkeys to travel. They will go to the White House to meet with the president and his family and be named the official National Thanksgiving Turkeys. Every year on the fourth Thursday in November, America celebrates Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving started in 1621 when the first settlers from Europe and the Native Americans celebrated a successful harvest together. Thanksgiving was not an official national holiday until many years later. In 1863, President Abraham Lincoln set aside one day a year for the nation to give thanks. Abraham Lincoln, the guy in the penny! The turkey has been a symbol of Thanksgiving for a very long time. Many, many people eat turkey for Thanksgiving each year, and it's the centerpiece of the Thanksgiving dinner table. Did you know that Benjamin Franklin wanted the turkey to be the national bird of the United States instead of the bald eagle? Benjamin Franklin believed that the turkey was a much more respectable bird, and he called it a bird of courage. You mean this guy? He wanted the turkey? Yes, Joe, he did. Today, there are around 250 turkey farms in Minnesota that raise 46 million turkeys a year. There are more turkeys raised in Minnesota than any other state. 46 million? Oh my gosh, how do they get all those turkeys in the world? These turkeys are cared for by turkey farmers. These farmers make sure the turkeys stay healthy and grow. There are lots of things that turkey farmers need to do to raise healthy turkeys so that you and I can enjoy eating turkey on Thanksgiving and all year round. Turkey eggs are kept in big machines like this one before they are hatched. The machine is called an incubator and is made to do the same thing a mother turkey would do to one of her eggs. These are baby turkeys that are hatching. Look at all the eggshells around them. Hey, did you know that baby turkeys are called poults? Joe, do you know what sound a poult makes? Chirp, 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 chirp. Once poults are all hatched, they are brought to a new place called a brooder barn. These barns are made just for poults and have just the right feed and temperature for the poults to grow. When poults are about six weeks old, they are moved to a bigger barn to give them more room to grow. Boy and girl turkeys are raised separately, usually on different farms. Girl turkeys are called hens and boy turkeys are all named Tom. No, 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 they aren't all named Tom. All boy turkeys are just called Toms, just like a girl turkey is called a hen. Turkeys need the right food to grow healthy. They love to eat corn and soybeans, as well as other vitamins and minerals. A great thing about being a turkey in Minnesota is that there are tons of corn and soybeans in our state. These big machines are called combines, and they separate the parts of the corn and soybeans that the turkeys eat from the rest of the plant. The combine dumps the corn and soybeans into a big truck or a trailer pulled by a tractor. The farmer takes the corn and soybeans and unloads it into big storage bins until it is time to turn the corn and soybeans into turkey feed. You can see that farmers work hard so you and I can eat the food we enjoy every day. Today, you are going to learn even more about farming, Thanksgiving, thanks to President Abraham Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln, the guy in the penny, and poults, hens, and toms. And best of all, you'll get to see the real presidential turkey. Have fun. Have fun, and thanks for watching.